I think you could argue it's definitely harder to customize his images, but maybe you'd also say just different because it's it's not the same way that you would do it on, you know, like Arch or something. Yeah, just you're doing it at runtime yeah, instead yeah. of build time. That's exactly. why I explain that to people. Right. And I just say, look, pretend that you're doing all your customization, mm -hmm. right? Remember when you when you very first started out, it's like I've, I've customized my George Buntu, right, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there was that tool that would make an ISO out of it for you so that you could, like, do the thing. Mm -hmm. It's like that conceptually, except we're getting GitHub to do all the work, mm -hmm. right? So when you're like, I'm ready for doing an upgrade and your NVIDIA RPM fusion thing breaks or whatever third party thing, or, you know, the, I know Arch never breaks, but maybe in case you do an upgrade, Arch might break. This morning. <laughs> you know, like this, <laughs> you, sure. You know, um, pretend you're doing that. I just have GitHub doing, here's, mm -hmm. here's what I tell the hardcore Linux nerds. Microsoft is doing this for me. Mm -hmm. I am costing them money. That is true. Right? That's the ultimate own right there. So you can do all the <laughs> customization. Did they bandwidth? Mm -hmm. The builders? The CI testing? It's a great deal. I'm yeah, I'm getting a great deal. Um, <laughs> I didn't think so, like that. Yeah, you could do that. It's just the tooling isn't there. like it's way easier for you to like do it at runtime than yeah. to like set up a CI system. Like I get, like someone was like, you've made the Linux desktop as complicated as Kubernetes, a Kubernetes nerd actually turned, you know, and I was like, yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, however, it's also a tooling issue, right? Like, like <clears throat> Ublu is going to be the worst thing. <clears throat> like this is the worst it's ever going to be. At some mm -hmm. point, someone's going to make a thing and you're going to put in Brody's cool thing. You're going to drop down, select your packages you're going to click subscribe and then you're going to paste that into your GUI thing and you'll be done. Mm -hmm. Right? Like that's the potential that Fedora has made. Right? It's just someone had to figure out how to make the tooling and how right. to explain it. And like at the top, like Linus broke his computer and everyone's flaming him for all the wrong reasons. And I was like, no, nah, man, I'm going to have to build this stupid thing mm -hmm. to, to tell people that th the technology exists. Mm -hmm. We just got to get, we have to get people there. And it's a good thing that the Steam Deck is immutable mm. because people didn't know. And everyone who works in computers knew, of course, that's going to be immutable. Like, mm. no, you know, what happened to you this morning? I don't want that happening on your Steam Deck. I don't care. Like you, the, the thing is, it's a, it's a, it's a um, function of money, mm. right? Like we could QA every single package in Debian and Ubuntu, yeah. right? We'd have to charge you $5,000 per CPU to support that. Mm. Right. And some of you out there are paying your rail bills. You know how expensive it is to support a lot of that stuff. Right. Like, you know, engineering, we all know open, open source engineers, top tier in their profession, right? They cost money mm -hmm. or you're going to lose them. So, you know, we could do that or we could try to find as many ways to automate the hell out of everything. Mm -hmm. Right. And to remove as much jank and, and complexity on the client as we can. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what like, so I've been doing a lot of research and I'm fortunate that I know a lot of people. So I sat down with Tim Pepper who did, who he had worked on clear Linux's update ah. tool. Uh, Swapti. That's how you pronounce that, by the way. Um, and at the time I was really into clear Linux cause mm -hmm. they updated a lot, man. Like they were, they were shredding it. And he was like a lot of the design principles to just make that client as stupid as possible. Right. It's job is to ping a remote server, splat that thing on disk do the least amount of math possible. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure there's complicated stuff in there. Don't get me wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. But what it's not, what well, uh, a lot of that complexity, they shifted to the server side. Right. And that way it kind of solves it for everyone. And then you just splat the thing as fast and as dumb as possible to the client. Right. Like when you're apt installing something or mm -hmm. DNA, whatever package manager you have more than likely, it's taking all the stuff that you've added, all the PPA and it's trying to do the math to make your computer boot that day, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes the bear just gets you, right? Like, um, now this also does not lead to total resilience. It removes a lot of the jank, right? But mm -hmm. someone was like, this thing is stupid. I, I pseudoed myself to root and I RMF'd my, my root partition. Th this is stupid. You said this was reliable. I was like, dude, you're still an administrator. <laughs> my main man, you're still an administrator. <laughs> It's, uh, so yeah, it's not going to protect you from being no, dumb. Yeah, yeah.